So first question, account for the multiple problems of urban agglomeration. So India is India is one of the less urbanized country countries of the world with only 31.16 percent of the overpopulation living living in urban agglomerations or towns. The country this country is facing a serious crisis of urban growth at at the present time. Whereas urbanization has been an instrument of economic social and political progress. It has led to serious socioeconomic problems. Some of the major problems of urbanization in India are urban sprawl. Urban sprawl are real expansion of the cities, both in population and geographical area of rapidly growing cities, and is the root cause of urban problem. In most cities, the economic base incapable dealing with problems created by their excessive size, massive immigration from rural areas as well as from uh, as well as from small towns into big cities has taken place among almost constant consistently thereby adding to the size of cities. Overcrowding. Overcrowding is a situation in which too many people live in too, in too little space. Overcrowding is a logical consequence of overpopulation in urban areas. It is naturally expected that cities live having a large size of population squeezed in a small space must suffer from overcrowding. This is well exhibited from all, almost all the big cities of India. For example, Mumbai has one-sixth of, of an area acre open space per thousand population, though fourth acre is suggested standard by the master plan of Greater Mumbai. So, no matter what the cities of India are overcrowded, both in absolute, absolute and relative terms. Absolute Absolute in the sense that the, that these cities have a real high density of population relative in the sense that even if the densities are not very high, the problem of, of providing service and other facilities to the city dwellers makes it so. Housing overcrowding leads to a chronic problem of shortage of houses in urban areas. This problem is specifically more acute in those urban areas where uh, there is large influx of unemployment and under underemployment, underemployed immigration who have no place to live in when they enter cities towns from the surround, surrounding areas. Unemployment, the problem of unemployment is no less serious than the problem of housing. Mentioned above, urban employment is urban unemployment in India is since estimated uh, at 15 to 25 percent of the labor force. This percentage is even greater, is even higher among the educated people. Slums and squatted squatter settlement, the natural sequel or sequel or of unchecked plant and haphazard growth of urban areas is the growth of spread growth and spread of slums and squatter. Settlements and which present a striking feature in the ecological structure of Indian cities, especially of metro up metropolitan city centers. Transport with the with traffic bottlenecks, the traffic congestion almost all cities and towns of India are suffering from acute form of transport problem. Transport problems increase and becomes become more complex as the town grew and growth in size with the growth of the growth the town performs various complex various complex functions and more people travel to work or shop water what is one of the most essential elements of nature to sustain life and and right from the beginning of urban civilization Sites for settlements have always been chosen, keeping in view the availability of water to the inhabitants of the settlements. However, supply of water started falling short of demand. 
and the cities grew in size and, and number. Sewage problem urban areas in India are almost invariably flagged with insufficient and inefficient sewage facility. Not a single city in India is fully sewered. Resource crunch faced by the municipalities and unauthorized growth of the cities are major are two major causes of this pathetic state of affairs. Trash disposal as Indian cities grow in number and size of the size, the problem of trash disposal is assuming revolving proportions, huge quantities of garbage produced. Your cities pose a serious challenge, serious health problem. Most cities do not have proper arrangements for garbage disposal, and the existing landfall landfills are full to the brim. These landfills are hotbeds of deceased. This is an innumerable poison leaking into the surrounding urban crimes. Most modern cities present a meeting point of people from different walks of living life having no affinity with other one mother. With one another, like other problems, the problems of crimes increased with the increase in urbanization. In fact, the increasing trend in urban crimes tend to disturb peace and in tranquility of the cities and make them Unsafe to live, in particularly to the urban women. Problem of urban population with rapid pace of urbanization, industries and transport system grow. Rather, one of population these of these elements are primarily responsible for pollution of environment, particularly the urban environment. We cannot think with a strong India economically, socially, or culturally when our cities remain sick squalor. Scholar quality of life, quality of urban life declines, and the urban environment is damaged beyond repair. As a matter of fact, cities comprise the backbone of our economic expansion, and urbanization is becoming seen as a positive light, as an engine of economic growth, an agent of social political transformation. So, thank you.